Hello everyone, and welcome back to the 3D Mechanical Design Channel. I'm a mechanical engineer with over 20 years of experience working in SolidWorks. In today's tutorial, we'll design a sheet metal cone with circular cutout step by step. You can find the download link for the finished 3D model in the description below. Please support the channel by liking and commenting. You can also suggest model examples for future videos. Let's begin by creating a reference plane. We'll make a new plane parallel to the front plane, offset by 35 inches, which will represent the height of our cone. Now select the front plane and start a new sketch. Draw a center point arc centered at the origin with a radius of 20 inches. Add a vertical center line from the arc center upward. Then, select both the arc points and the center line to apply symmetry relations. Next, Set the arc opening to 1 16th inch and confirm with OK. After that, we'll repeat this process on plane 1, but this time draw a center point arc with a radius of 9 inches. Add the same vertical center line and apply symmetry relations once again. Great, now we have our two sketches ready to move forward with building the sheet metal cone geometry. To create the cone geometry, start by selecting the sheet metal tab and choose the lofted bend feature. In the lofted bend property window, add both of our pre-made sketches as profiles and confirm the selection by clicking OK. In the second sketch, we need to adjust the gap. Open the sketch and set the size to 1 16th of an inch. Click OK. With the cone now created, the next step is to add circular holes. Begin by unfolding the cone. Activate the Unfold tool in Sheet Metal. Select the fixed face, the edge of the cone, and set the bends to unfold by picking the cone surface. Confirm your selections with OK. Now you'll have a flat cone segment displayed on screen, 
ready for you to add the required circular cutouts in the next step. Select the surface of the unfolded segment to begin a new sketch. Draw two center lines that are collinear with the two outer edges of your cone segment. Then, create a third center line placed symmetrically between the first two. Define the symmetry by setting the angle between outer center lines as a driven dimension, and for the middle line, specify its angle as half the driven value using a formula. Average angle equals driven angle divided by two. Use this central reference line to position six additional lines that will mark the centers for your holes. Set the length of the four inner lines at 7 inches, and the two outer lines are equal. Define all circle diameters as 5 inches. This ensures the sketch is fully defined and ready for further operations. With your sketch complete, Activate the Cut Extrude tool and use the defined circles to cut through the segment, forming the holes as specified. Next, we'll complete the pattern by adding the remaining holes along both sides of the flat segment using the Curve Driven Pattern tool. Select the guiding curve, choose the circular cut as the feature to repeat, and set the number of instances to achieve a uniform distribution along the curved edge. Once the holes are patterned, it's time to form the cone back into shape. Activate the Fold tool from the Sheet Metal tab. Select the same fixed face used in the unfolding operation, then set the bends to refold. Click OK. And the part will return to its original conical form with all cutouts correctly applied. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please support the channel by liking the video and leaving a comment. Thanks for watching and see you in the next SolidWorks tutorial.